523 right now. The state of Indiana's foster care population is almost the second highest in the nation, and there is a desperate need for help right now, particularly when it comes to teens. Rachel, you recently met with an organization looking to change that? Yes, I did, and, and it's all thanks to a Zionsville woman who started Wishing Wings Boutique late last month. It's located on the second floor of Central Christian Church right in Lebanon, and this boutique is giving teens more than just great style. We're shopping with heart on this trip in your neighborhood. There's a lot of foster closets for youth, but a lot of them stop at a certain size. As a court-appointed special advocate, Ginger Summers noticed a need with children, and particularly teens in foster care and kinship when it comes to their clothing. Typically, foster families will go to a supply closet, fill out a sheet, and are handed items in the appropriate sizes. But at Wishing Wings Boutique, they can come in and actually shop for trendy, new, or gently used items they love and will feel confident in, always free of charge. They need to be able to have that self-esteem to feel good when they go into a new school because it is very tough going to a new school and fitting in and then if you don't have the means to be able to wear what the other kids are wearing to fit in, then you feel even more, you know, dis distant. They carry sizes from newborn up to size 38 in men's and extra, extra large in women's. But their focus is on the upper age brackets. So they have all the brands any teen or preteen would love. We have new Nike clothes. We have new Adidas. We have brand new uh, men's Land's End pants. We have Juicy Couture perfume. We have a couple of brand new Kate Spade skirts. We also have coach purses. You'll often find brand new items with tags still attached, plus everything you'd need to style a cool outfit. There's shoes for boys and girls, swimsuits, fancy dresses and attire, makeup from brands like Tarte and Urban Decay, and even a separate room full of brand new bedding from brands like Ralph Lauren. You'll even find items like games, toys, and books, all thanks to donations from the community. People were saying, you know, we're stuck at home, so we might as well clean the closets out or go through toys or things like that. So I think that has definitely helped us um, for the better. Kids don't have to be from Boone County to shop at Wishing Wings. Summer says their first Saturday open drew families from White County, Tippecanoe County, and other surrounding areas. And no one left empty handed or empty hearted. There is still good in the world that even with the crazy coronavirus that, you know, they're still good and it made a smile on their face. So. I just love that visit. And in addition to the boutique, Wishing Wings also has a grant a wish program, which allows donors to grant wishes for things like school pictures, music lessons, and other extras that foster kids sometimes miss out on. So for more information, check out our website, cbs4indy.com, and look under the hotspots tab. Nick? Uh -huh.